Honestly, okay, you know what's funny? When, when I was a kid, my mom always told me that my generation was going to be weird. That my, that my generation was going to be off its rocks. Of course, I'm going to be of the ripe old age of 21 years old. So I'm, of course, if you can do a Google search, I'm Generation Z. And of course, of course, the supposed successors are Generation Alpha. Now, what I want to know is, why the fuck is this generation so messed up? I mean, literally, you have kids vaping, you have kids doing drugs, literal kids, man. The last time that I heard about kids doing drugs, it was like two years ago after I've graduated, and I heard my cousin saying that some kid was overdosing on the side of the street because he took a speedball or something. These kids are insane, man. These kids are nuts. These kids are nuts to butts, especially with this video that we're about to watch. It's stupid. It's it, it's really stupid, man. And you know what? I'm just gonna show you guys the video. You already saw the title of it anyway. I mean, just, just watch the video. 11 year old girl in this police body cam video is in a whole lot of trouble. She made a fake phone call to 911 saying her friend had been kidnapped. She later told cops she thought it would be funny. Well, they didn't laugh, admonishing her to never do this again. See, I mean, okay, how dumb do you have to be to call the local cops in your area and pretend that there's a fake kidnapping? How, how dumb do you have to be? Now, the only people I'm going to blame here is fucking social media and YouTube, okay? Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, you should regulate what your child watches. Oh, you should really keep an eye on what they watch. Yeah, they should. Because when I was younger and I got my phone, you know what my mom would do? At the end of each week, she would check my phone to see what I was looking at. Nowadays, parents and, you know, younger adults, you know, they're more dependent on the freaking internet to teach their children than what they are to parents. Honestly, man. And it's because of that that really gets me like, duh, you know, it really gets me frustrated because, yes, I was born with the coming of the internet age, but I was still taught how to be, you know, reasonable, you know, not to fucking call the cops of a fake kidnapping because LOL is just a joke, man. She thought it was funny and it was a joke and she couldn't get in trouble for it. Police say the girl texted 911 to say that her friend had been abducted by a stranger in a white van. The girl who gave a fake name said she was following the van on the interstate in another vehicle. For the next 30 minutes, she gave updates on the supposed kidnapping. <laughs> this is what I mean, man. I'm telling you, this generation is doomed. This generation is doomed. All right, when I was a kid, what I would do was fucking grab a stick, grab a rock, and pretend I was playing fucking baseball, man. I remember the good old days of stopping the fucking ice cream man, telling him, hey, wait, I have money. Come take my money for an ice cream. No, now you have kids prank calling the cops. Prank calling the cops. Prank calling. What kind of, oh my dear God. I mean, look, I guess I have sisters that are younger than me. They don't even do that. They don't even do that. And yes, they're always on their phones. I was watching TikTok and YouTube and all that crazy shit. But even they know better. They know better. And they're almost the same age as this girl. Well, a little bit over. But still, around the same age. And it, it fucking disappoints me because I know it's gonna people, there's people going to be like, Oh, well, you know, it, you just have to ban them. It, yeah, that's why it's called regulation of what your kid watches. Maybe that's why YouTube and Google and all these other, you know, social media companies have enabled safety features for children or regulated time features for children, which I feel parents should actually use. Now, I'm not saying take the phone away and break it, but just... You know, I guess just keep an eye on what your children watches because then you have stuff like this prank calling the cops. Imagine their surprise when they confronted her and realized she was just 11 years old. You can talk to your parents. They say she fessed up. She stated that she got the idea to prank 911 through a YouTube challenge and thought it would be funny. I bet you she probably saw one of the Paul Brothers, like, old videos, or maybe, like, J-Station. Ooh, it's up, guys, 3 a.m., don't get locked up challenge. Honestly, man, th th this is why YouTube back then was very unhinged, you know? This is why, you know, before all these regulation stuff, you know, people can get away with a lot. And it it's funny because, yes, 
there are okay that that's why a lot of people like to complain about oh you you shouldn't watch this because they're not a good influence when it comes to something like this prank calling the cops because they saw it on a youtube video because it was a prank yes that's when you should regulate it all right now i'm not saying that your children should watch other stuff with bad words and stuff i mean fuck i say bad words all the time but i'm, I'm from more of a mature audience but honestly it's like uh like it, it really gets me because that's that's how big of an impact social media has on this younger generation you know on this generation of kids they're just kids they don't know any better and yet they see it they find it funny and they want to do it which really pisses me off because a lot of people are like oh but if you stop them you're just restricting their freedom it's like no they are literally breaking the law doing what they're doing you see kids stealing from stores you see kids doing this fucking prank calls you see kids doing drugs vaping oh they're just expressing themselves no when i was younger the way you express yourself is what buy a cool pair of shoes and say yeah I bought this for like 30 bucks and you're like the best kid in the world or buy some fucking scratch sniff pencils you know where the where where you would shake the thing and it would smell like watermelon or strawberry that was a shit man not fucking prank calling the cops fuck father was really upset you're gonna take this as a lesson at 11 years old that if you do something stupid in the future you're gonna enjoy those cuffs i'm not gonna do this again yeah, that, that that's that's pretty much the whole video. I mean, she, of course she didn't go to jail, but I mean they handcuffed her and everything. But I mean, God. Okay, it, I just more of a story. Just regulate what your kid watches, okay? We don't want them to see fucking little Timmy across the street watching OnlyFans of her mom, okay? Fuck. But I mean, all, all in all, I mean it's like, you you know it's like just. Regulate what your children watch, all right? If you if you feel something's going on, just be like, hey, let me see your phone, let me see what you're watching. And if they're watching a the fucking beheading, then, you know, be like, hey, stop that. That's wrong. You shouldn't be watching that. You're just a kid, all right? But if they're watching, like, fucking Minecraft Let's Plays, then fine, that, that, that's okay, you know? But overall, I just felt like really like just letting my chest out about this because I mean, I'm, I may not be a parent, but I know in the future I will be. And this is a literal learning lesson, not only for me, but also for, you know, everybody watching that. Hey, the, inter the Internet isn't really such a very inspirational place. Like, it's cool to get entertained, but just because someone does it and they don't get in trouble doesn't mean you should do it. You know, you shouldn't be going lighting up fireworks. At, at a freaking you know forest just because a youtuber does it no if you know it's wrong don't do it stop don't do it if you feel you're gonna get in harm's way you're gonna get in serious trouble like like, like this kid did don't do it all right just, just put the video down and go play some fucking monopoly or go play some uno or go play some connect four you know go play a little board game go play fucking candy land for all i care but if you're watching some dude like, oh, drive by 3 a.m. challenge, cussing up the cops and they don't get in trouble. Yeah, you might get in trouble. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe, please leave your comments down below. Turn on notifications to be notified of any future videos. And other than that, that's it.